Hi, I'm Jaisal Josh with a news flash coming up with all the facts. In a statement made by the top Iranian general, the country's air defenses have been repumped and cautioned dozens of drones and aircrafts in extensive military drill that the country's military is conducting. The report was issued by state media, which might take up bias approach in spreading propaganda in favor of Tehran. However, the claim has some concrete similarity since it fits the aggressive pattern that Iran has taken since President Obama paid the country of over the pointy nuclear deal. The rest and aggressive approach that Iran has been taking would obviously not end well for Iran. This is because the incoming Trump's administration has a solid military team and concrete foreign policy that will not put up with such aggression. The Associated Press reported that an Iranian general said that Iran's air defense had warned of several drones and fighter jets as part of extensive military drill that its military is undertaking. The general added that during the past three days of military drill, the air defense had given warning to 12 aircraft from trans regional countries to keep up from the country's airspace. As reported by the semi official Tasnim news agency, General Abbas Farai 4 said that among the planes warned of included U.S. drones and fighter jets. On Wednesday, there were an answer calls to U.S. Navy's 5th Fleet that is based in Bahrain. The 5th Fleet had complaints that it had been involved in interaction with Iran's military both in air and at sea. The Obama administration set a terrible model in January after the deliberate and illegal capture of U.S. sailors by paying a huge ransom to get the four American hostages back. Obama's administration also failed to find Iran for the illegal capture and made matters worse by making a deal that sees Iran keeping its nuclear infrastructure for a long duration. This had made the Mullahs feel emboldened to act out against the U.S. forces. Fortunately, Trump's administration will make sure that this acting out comes at the terrible price if Iran continues to goad and push the U.S. forces throughout the Middle East and Persian Gulf, the president-elect's administration has cabinet selections for Secretary of Defense, National Security, and the State Department that clearly indicate that Trump will not put up with the Iranians like Obama did. To make everything to clear, Trump has emphasized that he'll rip up the Iranian nuclear deal. It's funny how the Iranians are playing with fire by wrongly assuming that Trump is the buffoonish cardinal character that the political leftist has portrayed him to be. It will be very unfortunate if Iran makes one wrong calculation. They'll get it rough by paying a terrible price. Don't forget to read thegoldwater.com every day for new and insightful discussion of current world events. Please follow our social media accounts on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube channel. This is Jason Josh from Goldwater.